Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about uh, payment terms, how we can set up the payment terms in Business Center and how we can check the result. I will add some example and then we can go uh, and select this payment terms in, in a purchase invoice uh, and check the result. Uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and add your comments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So let's go to Business Center and check how we can set up the payment terms. So here we need to find the payment terms. So here in the cash management, uh, we have the payment terms. Here uh, we have a list. So let's go through uh, and explain uh, uh, some the examples that we have. So basically, he let us start with these uh, ten days. Uh, he uh, how you can set up this uh, first is a code that you can define um, uh, as you want. Uh, he uh, is the due date calculation that means that uh, he will check this value so if I click here uh, and if I try to put like days here you will see that it's not possible why uh, because he is how a business center calculate uh, the due date uh, calculation so he you need to exp uh, specify uh, uh, these uh, correctly. So in this case here, if I want to calculate 10 days, I, I need to specify D, that means days. Uh, if I want, for example, one month, I, I need to uh, specify M of month. Uh, also, uh, I can put here uh, one week, uh, one year okay so in this case let's go back to 10 days just to explain what is acceptable here uh, he uh, we can uh, specify the discount date calculation that means if you have a discount you need to add uh, this here so you can see in this line uh, that if I pay, uh, in this case, if I pay this uh, eight days before one month, I will receive 2% uh, in discount. Okay, so here uh, you can add the formula for the discount date. Uh, and also you can add here what is the percentage that you uh, will consider here. Also, uh, he, you can specify that the payment discount uh, will be calculated on credit memo. So uh, if you want, you can flag. If not, you just let in. And here is the description, is the, uh, the way that you can make clear uh, what is the payment uh, term that you are using. Okay. Uh, so I think when I use a uh, day, uh, month, uh, week, I think it's clear. I add here uh, um, two examples that I think that is a little bit different just uh, for you to understand. Uh, in this case here, I uh, am saying that I will calculate uh, uh, in these payment terms uh, 30 days but i will uh my terms will be not be like just 30 days that means that that should be uh in the day three after 30 days so uh that means here that i will uh in this time in, in when i use this uh, payment term i will receive or i will pay this 30 days after uh in a Wednesday day. So this is the way for you to specify this. So you, you can you can use he in a different way like 10 days uh, but always in a Wednesday uh, uh, you 
you can put uh, out here, for example, uh, Thursdays, but always uh, in uh, Friday. So uh, you you have to change this for uh, weekday five and 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 as you want. And if you want, that is uh, always uh, Monday, for example, you can add weekday one. Uh, other example here is like if you have this kind of theme of uh, payment that uh, that will be always uh, in, in, in uh, 10 days after the current month. So in this case here uh, we, we add current month plus uh, 10 days. So that means if I post an invoice with date uh, 1 of uh, uh, April, uh, I need to pay this uh, in 10 of May, uh, and if also I, 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 I post an invoice with document date, uh, for example, 28 of April, I will also pay in 10 of May. Okay. Uh, so let's go now to the purchase invoice and check uh, the result of this uh, payment uh, there. Okay, so here uh, I want to go to the list, so let's click here. Uh, let's go to purchase order. I will select the first. And what I will do here, uh, if you go to invoice details, I will change this. So let's uh, select this that is in uh, 10 days uh, after uh, my current month, right? So if you go here uh, in the general, let me show more. We have here the document date that is um, 8th of uh, April uh, and here my uh, due date that is uh, 10 of May. So let's update this. Okay. Okay, in this case here, uh, we don't need to check the calendar, right? Because then uh, uh, I, I am um, specify that I, I need to pay this uh, in 10 days, uh, uh, um, uh, always uh, uh, in a day 10. So, uh, so uh, in in this case, in the next month, right? Because uh, I will never consider the current month uh, in this case. So uh, let's change the other term that uh, in this case, I'm saying that is after uh, 30 days, I need to pay this uh, in my next uh, Wednesday. So let's select. And then you can see here that uh, uh, my theme was changed to 11. So if we go here to the Excel, you can see that if I take my uh, day, that is 8th of April, and apply 30 days, my uh, due date uh, will be uh, 8th of May. Uh, however, uh, I have this... Uh, um, this consideration that is always in, in a Wednesday. So if we go here uh, and you go until May, uh, you can see here that my uh, 8th of May is, is Sunday, uh, but I specify that I, I have to pay this uh, in a Wednesday and because that the system is calculate 11 of um, May. Also, uh, the other thing that is basically simple uh, is just if you go here and say 
I want to calculate the ten days, for example. And you can see here that the system changed uh, to 18 of uh, April. Uh, the system always considered here in terms of uh, calculation the document days in order to calculate the due date. Okay, I think is that for today. Thank you. Uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and add your comment. And see you next video.